I've reached my 20th stitch and I'm simply going to place my 20th single crochet there and then into those back loops of the 10 stitches we did not use I want you to move again your marker 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and find your 10th loop because it will be hidden so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 because you'll move this marker now we're working into that stitch for the first of our guess what two slip stitches so one and two place your marker around your loop because we'll be working in the back loop only skipping our one and two and into that third one now for a total of 20 single crochet only because remember this is our pocket we're going to start with one two three all the way down the row for a total of 20 single crochet let me meet you at the end there and now working back the way we uh, used to work uh, single crochet all the way down for a total of 20 once again slip stitch into two of your back loop stitches go uh, back the other way working in the back loop only back the other way until we reach up with our uh, last two single uh, <laughs> sorry last two back loops that is where I'll meet you again then we will finish up. right guys I've reached my last two uh, back loops and I'm simply going to slip stitch into one and then two I'm going to head back to my first single crochet and then I'm going to find a loop corresponding in this row hmm, I hope you guys can see this clearly not where we joined this is the the first join we did but in sort of this row which is the first front loop row of the project so I want to work into these loops and just find that first loop yarn over and pull through for a slip stitch and this is just how we're going to join this little pocket into these loops back loop on this side that leftover loop and slip stitch so slip stitch and join your two uh, parts all the way to the top for 20 single crochets or well 20 slip stitches really and I'll join you at the end there and this is what we should have at the moment I'm also just going to single crochet along this edge just to tidy that up so I'm gonna head straight in for a single crochet And I think I'll just anchor into this little loop just to make the pocket secure. Snip off my yarn, tie a knot. That is that for our pocket. That is what your work should look like at this stage. Don't mind the ends, we'll weave them in soon enough. Um, let me just see. So that's big enough for a card of any kind some cash, <laughs> some tissues, an extra mask if you will. I found my other phone and I'm simply going to slide that in just to show you what the sleeve would look like. That is sort of a sleeve with a pocket now this is not the side that I would use you can use it of course I'm going to flip it inside out to the side of the work that I like 
and that is where I will attach my buttons and my straps because I'm using my pouch uh, for work purposes because I run around the building all day. I never have pockets because, um, yeah, I don't know why. But one always needs your phone, don't you? So this is going to help me a lot at work. I don't know why I've never thought of this before. Uh, that is my cell phone pouch basically complete it is in sleeve uh, mode at this stage I'm gonna add a strap to go around my neck and I'm simply gonna join it here and here and I'm gonna do up a chain of 100 to 120 and then I'm going to slip stitch back around the chain just for uh, durability and that is what the chain should look like at the end but I'll show you how I'm going to attach in a minute and then we're going to do a little flap add our button just to close it up so that nothing falls out should you bend over or anything like that and yeah Let's get this done very quickly. So you can weave in these ends in the meantime while I gather the necessary things that I'm going to be using. My two buttons. Well, I'm not going to attach two because I don't want to use the other side. I like this pattern uh, on the outside as I said. So I'll just attach the one button. You can feel free to attach both because you'll attach one on this side, one on the other side in the same space um, and that will make your pouch fully uh, reversible. And let us do that. So let's weave in our ends very quickly. Now because I know I want this side to show, I'm going to work my ends in on the other side. I'm simply going to work down a few stitches just to hide this end. Because I've just put my phone back in just to find the sides for where I want my strap to go. And I'm going to attach over here. And I'm staying on the inside of the uh, pouch because this will be the inside of my bag or pouch. And I'm going to join over here just under the single crochet line. I have a slip, a slip knot on my hook and I'm just going to join that and make a single crochet. I'm going to grab my yarn, tie a knot. just so that we're extra secure there and I'm just going to chain up my 100 chains that I need I'm not going to do that all the way with you so uh, I'll allow you to chain up however many chains you need you can now turn this into a crossbody sling a little pouch if you want so take your measurements for how long you want your chain to be and I would say add an extra 20 because when we uh, slip stitch back down the chain it's going to shrink just a little bit um, so yeah bear that in mind I'm going to be doing my 100 and I will meet you back when we join it and then work all the way back okay, so I have my chain of 100 I still have my phone inside just to find the other side of where I want to join and I'm gonna join again just below that uh, single crochet border basically around a row of, of the body I'm going to pull my yarn through, made a, I made a slip stitch, I'm just going to single crochet there for extra security and then I'm going to slip stitch all the way back down my chain. Now you can choose to do this in the back bump, through one of the loops, through two of the loops, it really doesn't matter at this stage. Um, I'm just going to slip stitch into each and every stitch 
you can also do a single crochet this is completely up to you uh, if you want to make a or if you want to actually attach uh, straps maybe leather straps to your pouch for a uh, what is it called a crossbody sling bag that should be very very nice uh, you can go ahead and do that attach your straps any which way you like I'm just choosing this because it's just a little pouch for my private use um, I'm not selling them for or anything so they don't have to be all the way perfect they just have to suit my needs and this pouch definitely does does that <laughs> so continue with your finishing up your strap I will meet you when we do the little uh, closure section adding our button and then our project will be well and truly complete okay, guys I am done with my strap I'm going to flip my bag inside out once again to the side that I would like to uh, have my exterior of my pouch as and I'm just going to slip stitch and I want to make sure that my pocket is in the back that's just where I want my pocket to be you don't have to if that's not what you want I'm gonna slip stitch all around the top of that single crochet till I find the middle section which is basically almost three or four stitches in. I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do four stitches in, and in that fourth one, I'm going to do a chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I just want to see if I should make this loop longer. Yes, I'm going to make it 12. 1, 2. And that will be the closure. I will attach my button over here. I don't know where my yarn is stuck at. <laughs> and I'm just going to slip stitch all the way around once again. To the other strap. Gonna cut off my yarn there, tie my knot, weave that end in, and then attach my button. So you'll need a, a bit of yarn. You'll need a needle with an end or an eye basically. That will go through your button holes. Hmm, this one is tight. Let me try a different button. This one should be fine. Thread your needle with the yarn. You can now decide how deep you want your button to be for your closure to work. And I think that should be fine. So I'm going to position my button. And I'm just going to work some yarn under some of the stitches. Tie a knot. Work through your button and attach to your work so do make sure you're not working through but in the other panels of your pouch I hate sewing I have to tell you guys 
Sewing is not my thing, <laughs> but it's a necessary evil when we need to attach stuff. So let's do the best we can. I think that should be sufficient. I'm going to just work through the work and come out between the button and the work. This little end, let me just grab a hook and pull that through to the back of the work where we will weave it in. And then with our working strand, let's just go around the button one, two or three times and then go back with our needle into the work and out the back side where we can tie it off. going to flip this just for tying a knot, cut the yarn, you can then weave those in, I'll just show you what this looks like, now you need to imagine it with all the ends woven in, okay? <laughs> Let's just hide them. Let's find the phone. Slide that in. And there we go. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this fun little tutorial. Well, at least I thought it was fun. Um, I've made my strap to just fit around my neck because that's how I'll be using my pouch. Again, you can make your strap as long or as short as you need to be. Maybe a shorter little handle just for a hand carry bag. Uh, maybe not even attach uh, the uh, strap and just leave it as a sleeve with a pocket on the inside for cash and cards or whatever. Um, and then, guys, that is it. I love my little pouch. I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial. I will meet you in my next one. Thank you guys for spending time with me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.